We are talking about weaning weight trends across the U.S. with Dave Lawman, our Extension Beef Cattle Specialist. And Dave, you and the team have some new research on the topic. We do. We've worked with Kansas State University and Auburn University uh, to look at those trends for the last about 25 years. Talk about the data and kind of kind of what you access to kind of begin putting together the picture. Okay. So there's a lot of data available for seed stock operations through breed associations, um, but there's not that much information available for commercial cow-calf operations. And so uh, with the help of Kansas State and Auburn, we worked with Superior Livestock Auction uh, to look at their, we'll call it uh, projected delivery weights on oh gosh, uh, over almost 35,000 sale lots of calves. And we looked at the northern part of the country and then we compared those trends to the southern part of the U.S. And kind of what, it was kind of divided geographically. So let, let's yes. break off that northern, kind of northern tier and, and what you discovered there. So, and, and they were very different. So, so if we start in the north, uh, which would be essentially Kansas North and then the Rocky Mountain Northwest. And we, we pulled all those uh, sale lots together. Um, and, and all of the sale lots that we analyzed were identified as non-weaned. And so the interesting thing is that uh, weaning weights are going up fairly rapidly until about 2007 in the northern part of the country. And then they plateau and they really have not change since that time so they've leveled off. Has the research team started kind of analyzing why the, that plateau has happened and, and looked at that? Well we've we've had a lot of discussions about it. Uh, it'd be interesting to hear what others think but but you know probably there's a an environment by nu nutrition or, or genetic interaction. Uh, which means that perhaps the ranching environment, the forage resources may have about, uh, have about topped out in terms of the amount of weaning weight that these ranching enterprises can produce. So let's talk now about kind of the southern portion of the study and where those states are in terms of, of these numbers. Okay, and so, so same scenario, the same data set, superior livestock, uh, in the south, we looked at about, it just had been under about 8,000 sale lots from, uh, would have been Kansas, um, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, Missouri, New Mexico. So the south central part of the country. And the interesting thing there over the last about 25 years is that the weaning weights have trended up very similar to the increase in winning weights up until 2007 in the north at a very similar rate, but in the south they're still going up. Uh, <clears throat> the increase uh, at, at current time is still about 3.8 pounds more projected deliver weight per year. So every year in the south, uh, cow-calf producers think that their calves are going to weigh about another four pounds. Why do you think it's important to, to study this in the first place and then what are, what are some of the takeaways moving forward and, and what do you want to continue to look at? So one takeaway would be to have good records so that each operation could evaluate whether or not you know that those weaning weights which represent a major portion of a cow-calf operations income if they sell a weaning uh, whether it's increasing or not. If it's not increasing, uh, the obvious takeaway would be to focus more on reducing cost of production. And then the other opportunity would be to focus more on uh, capturing value of genetic potential beyond weaning. So whether it be retained ownership or try to get more data on carcass quality and those kind of opportunities. So adjusting management strategy, balancing out the bottom line, all the typical stuff. All the, all the typical stuff and capturing post weaning value. Exactly. Dave, great conversation. Congratulations to you and the team. It'll be published in the, in the journals later this month. The Journal of Applied Animal Science in January. Okay, we'll look forward to that. In the meantime, you can read a summary on our website, sunup.okstate.edu.